Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. It is spring. It has been a wonderful, wonderful year regarding rainfall. Uh, no uh, heat to talk about as such right now. It might change, but uh, we are enjoying every moment of it. The Cystus brush, the Chara, is in uh, bloom. These are the tiny flowers. There are many, many species of Cystus. And then I got a Hotel for the bees is numbered. An old stand I found on the farm I put up here. And then it's got two of these thingies. I must still find out what it's called. And then lots of holes. So it's very well ventilated. And it's facing the southeast, and it is protected from the harsh sun in the west. So it's not on a footpath, it's close to the pond. Welcome, bees. They say this is the time of the year, April to June, when the bees migrate. So, welcome to come here. This is uh, typical of my personality. I uh, don't have a bee's idea of what to do with this, but I like to get it and then to start learning. Um, I'm learning with this. I'm asking and listening, researching, and then I must build up my own experience. This is how I prefer it. I have retrieved the uh, wheelbarrow that I use to transport the beehive. I'll park it here in the footpath next to the observation station. Or else I might not find this wheelbarrow again in this jungle. Uh, soon I will top this vetiver and uh, with a hedge cutter manual and mulch the area. I'm looking forward to this. It was a great experience. I learned a lot and it's working. I'm also learning with the chickens. Uh, hard lessons. I have one broody one and uh, I have no other eggs, and every day there are more eggs with this one. And then suddenly a chick appeared from this hen that disappeared for three days. Why will one chick hatch. How did this hen get the egg to wherever she was? I don't know. I uh, uh, envisage, I fantasize how this hen puts a, an egg under her wing and she travels with it. But never mind, we have one little chick.
of the three chicks uh, from the six chicks of the previous batch only have three left one offered itself to Fus and uh, running like a mad animal through the dog run and that was its last run but we are learning the chickens get moved here in the morning and in the evening they go home by themselves they have plowed that area quite well but they stop laying eggs maybe I offend them out of their pattern but we will learn it appears that we will might get more rain today and then according the weather forecast we might be the last for a week but the creek the lower creek from the fountain is still flowing which is brilliant here on the east of the creek the creek that runs from the south to the north this is our second rose garden we will now mulch it and then these are my special uh, citrus orange trees I have four that might supply us with oranges all year round I planted two here and two further west of the pond because it's the most non-clay soil we have and uh, I think this is what these citrus trees need we've also cleared these berms of about a thousand three hundred meters we have mulched about a thousand one hundred meters this must now be mulched and before we do that we put in some pumpkin seeds and other uh, cucumbers and anything that crawls and uh, this is the polofnia cutting and the other two cuttings are not moving and these are uh, another polofnia and this is the quince and this is a um, cutting of the brush the bush we have around the house and this is a fig and I am so chuffed that it is working excellent excellent conditions to propagate plants through cuttings and this is the sage and um, if we have time I would like to subdivide it and plant it in other parts of the swales as well doing a great job but we are running out of time this is very time consuming work and very hard work it is uh, back breaking and also on a slope but we'll get there the end is near as is kale from last year over there as well kale flowers here towards the east uh, one of the newer swales we have planted a lot of cactus Cactus don't share water through roots like some other plants. They're more stingy. 
and uh, but they are happy to supply shade so this is what we are after and lots of roses bushes cuttings that we have just put in here and this is a chestnut that came up by seed people say they don't do too well but I don't care if it just grows I'm happy so uh, an olive another chestnut um, this is a Vachelia uh, Karu it's not a mimosa Vachelia Karu is not mimosa this is a acorn uh, oak from acorn and this is asparagus they're all here they must just come out these asparagus it's another vachelia the swale is still full this is very very clay soil here things are so beautiful we are so happy Till next time, goodbye.